Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be talking about front wings used in Formula One. Now it's a very important part of the vehicle because the front of the car is the first part obviously that's coming into contact with the clean air, perfectly unturbulent air, and so the front wing it needs to be able to channel this air around the car and make sure to use all the aerodynamic features uh, to their optimum are on the vehicle. So, first I'll just go over uh, a few of the components involved. We've got end plates. These are the vertical plates on the side of the wing. We've got upper flaps. So these are little flaps that are raised up a little bit from the wing. We've got adjustable wings, what I've got here drawn in red. And so those can be adjusted for different down forces. And then we've got the nose cone obviously here in the front, which is all what it is, it is all attaching to. So, uh, just each one and, and what its purpose is. So the nose cone, we're going to have the air flowing in from the front, and the nose cone, the purpose of it is to, be, to send that air underneath the car and send it back clean, back to the diffuser. Now I'm going to make a separate video on the diffuser and the purpose of that, but just understand that the purpose of this nose, co nose cone is to get the air to flow underneath the vehicle. Now we've got these end plates here, and the purpose of these end plates is to get the air to flow around the tires. So you're going to have, you don't want air hitting these tires because it's just going to become real turbulent and then you won't be able to use it as it passes back. So you're going to want to pass the air around the tires and then you can make use of it later, for example, in the side pods of the car. Okay, so then we've got these upper flaps here. So you've got your, your upper flaps and you're going to have air that's going to kind of pass over these and then it's going to be forced up because of that angle and so that angle is going to push the air over the tires. So once again, you don't want to have your clean air hitting your tires and then going back to the rest of your car because it'll become turbulent and then you can't use it. So you want it to be as clean as possible and that's what these upper flaps are going to do is just pass that air right over the tires, keep it clean, and then it can go right into the side pods and cool the vehicle. Alright, so what else do we have going on? Well obviously downforce is one of the major reasons for the front wing. So that's, what it, that's why it's actually called a wing. So how does a wing work? Well, it's, it's basically the opposite of what you see on an airplane. So you've got this uh, wing here, and it's upside down compared to what you would see on an airplane, because you want lift in a plane, obviously, but you want downforce on a Formula One vehicle. So what happens is, is the air is going to come across this uh, wing, and it's going to enter, and then it's going to split around the wing. So as it splits on the top, it's going to move along, and then it's going to be push, pushing against this, and it's going to start to slow down as it sees resistance. And so as it, as it gets this resistance and the air slows down, the air molecules are building up. So you're going to have a higher density of air there, and that density means that you're going to have a higher pressure, basically. So with that higher pressure, that's going to exert a force down. Now on the bottom end, the opposite is going to be happening. So as the air crosses, it's just going to have a nice clean path, and it's just going to keep on going. So it's going to have a good speed to it, not very much uh, air molecules, not very dense because of the high speed. And so since that speed is so great, it's going to have very low pressure. So you've got low pressure on the bottom, high pressure on the top. What's the difference? Well, that's what's going to push down. So you'll ultimately have a force in the downward direction. And that'll be the goal of these wings especially the adjustable ones. So these adjustable ones will have these little pins here uh, that they hook up to so you can angle that. And so here you can just adjust that and you can turn the angle of, the, uh, of that um, wing up or down. So if you increase the angle, move it up, then that air is going to have more resistance. It's going to pack up more and it's going to create a higher pressure. If you decrease it, then it's going to be able to move along more easily, and so you're going to have a lower pressure. So once, once again, if you have that higher pressure, you'll have more downforce. If you get a lower pressure, you'll have less downforce. So in a scenario where, say, you've got a high-speed track, well, you'll probably want a little less downforce so that you can get to those higher speeds. If you've got a slower speed track with a lot of corners, then you're going to want more downforce so you'll tilt up the front wings a little bit, the adjustable wings, so that you can have that greater downforce and be able to corner quicker. So here we have the front wing on a Ferrari Formula One car. Now this is a little older of a model, so it's a little bit different. And one thing you'll probably notice is how narrow it is. So on the newer ones, they're actually going to widen that out so that you get a better airflow around the tire. You can see there's kind of a gap 
here where air can actually just hit straight onto the tire. So that's been updated for the newer wings. But you can see all the components, the upper flaps, the adjustability of the uh, adjustable wings there and the end plates as well as the nose cone and the air that's going to go ahead and flow under that. 